Appreciate y'all for tuning in to SAC School today. I'm your host, Vach Lombardi, and we're going to be looking at Aaron Donald. We got about five or six plays to show y'all, and I'm going to be breaking those sacks down on a more technical level. Now, in case you got the attention span of a face mask with no helmet, then I'm going to play the clips that we're going to use today now, and you can feel free to mute me, rewind, fast forward, whatever you want to do. But for those of you that like details and a little bit of nuance, I'm going to be breaking down those plays at length. All right, let's get started. Take a look at this play from Aaron Donald. I think this is a pretty fantastic show of technique and ability here. Take a look at him here. We always talk about defeating hands or whatever, right? And I always, you know, when I'm breaking down these film or I'm, I'm, I'm talking to young pass rushers, I say defeat the hand in the direction you're going. So if you're going outside, defeat the outside hand. You're going inside, defeat the inside hand. I like how Aaron Donald just opts to defeat both hands and that sets him up to get himself in better position twice and then defeats the outside hand. I'll show you right here. First of all, he's gonna uh, start off with this hop step right here, right? He's gonna go boom, bop. See that hop step? He's gonna turn his chest to the offensive lineman and he's gonna hop to give himself a little more, just a little more room to work with. He really wants to you know, uh, push himself through that gap, but he's really setting up the swipe move with that hop step. So he's going to hop, which turns his body to the left. And if you turn your body to the left, it naturally turns your hands to the right so that's a fun little technical move there Aaron is going to boom 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 hop step left he's going to get that big swipe move to the right normally when we swim we're you know swiping we're swiping one hand but think about if you ever tried to uh try to clean a window with a big bath towel you're just swiping like this Aaron Donald is going to turn those hips to further propel himself and to you know kind of assist that big swipe there he's going to defeat both hands as such boom and then it's going to allow him to to bring that right hand under and that right hand under is going to defeat that outside hand via rip move see what i'm doing here see what i'm saying there and then aaron donald gets to get his hands on the uh quarterback here let's just show it one more time in a uh, fast motion hop swipe rip and we're gonna go get your quarterback davis mills sorry player Take a look at Aaron Donald right here. He's gonna start off outside of the tackle, but he's gonna end up in B gap. And you know, we just showed you technique from Aaron Donald. Now let's show you the actual quickness from Aaron Donald. Well, with a little bit of a swim move, with a little bit of a swim move at the end. That's fun. Take a look at this. Aaron Donald, like I said, he's going to boom, boom, boom. And he's going to, you know, set up this left guard in the way of, okay, we're gap exchanging, we're slanting, we're moving, but I'm setting you up to think that I'm going towards your outside, which is B gap, right? But I'm only setting up the B gap pressure just to take a gap from you, right? So let's just bring this back a little bit and just take a look at Aaron Donald. He's actually gonna give a little fake to that B gap, pow, pow, and then swim over the top so fast, man. And that's the advantages that we get with Aaron Donald, man. He's powerful enough to move guys around. He's technical enough to hang with, with whatever offensive lineman. And he's quick. He's way quicker than, than these inside guys. I think Aaron is quick for tackles also, just depending on which tackle he's he's going against. But if you're a slow-footed guard, hey, you, you don't stand a chance, man, with that swim over the top to defeat the hands. Lovely. Sorry. Uh, who is this? Andy Dalton? <laughs> yeah, Andy Dalton. Sorry, Bears fans. Sorry to hear that. And Aaron Donald's just powerful, man. Just take a look at Aaron Donald just being stronger than everybody else. Get your ass off me, boy. With the and one. Why you holding him? Why you holding him? Let him go. You got you got your arm all around his neck. That's no fun. Let me go. I'm, I'm sacking Trevor Lawrence anyway. You ain't got to choke me on the way to sacking your quarterback. Look at this. Um, I'd imagine Aaron was trying to set up the left guard for something, but he just didn't need to. The left guard was in terrible position. The left guard, 68 right here. Boom, boom. Look like Xavier Suofilo, but it may not be him. The left guard is standing straight up. He's not powerful here. The left guard doesn't have hands on you. He's not powerful here. The left guard is... I don't know what the hell he's doing. He's in terrible, terrible position right now. But uh, Aaron Donald, it, it seems like Aaron was going... And this may not be the case. I'm just trying, I'm just being funny right here. Aaron Donald was probably going for some type of move to set up, but he saw how trash his technique was. He said, all right, player, we're just going to run down the middle of you, and we're just going to go get your quarterback together. Take a look at this, because this is fun. We got an offensive lineman, uh, this is the right guard versus Aaron Don. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does here. <sighs> Technique, baby. Let's take a look at this. Aaron Donald is going to come off the ball. Now, first of all, this right guard is wrong. 
in the way of his feet. Like he's not gaining any ground by kick stepping. He's not being powerful by quick setting. He's just kind of false stepping right here. Yeah, the offensive lineman isn't, he's not dedicating himself to any technique in particular. He's just chopping his feet, which is bad for you. It's bad for the offensive lineman. So Aaron Donald is going to get upfield and because the offensive lineman is not doing anything to stop that. He's gonna get upfield and then he's gonna engage with the offense, uh, with the offensive lineman, right? Aaron Donald has every advantage in the world here because he has both hands on the inside. Now, if you're an offensive lineman and your hands are outside towards my shoulders and my hands are inside towards your chest plate, then you dead as fried chicken. Um, and you you even see Aaron's hands kind of working up towards the uh, shoulders a little bit. I'm gonna tell y'all why he's why he's doing that in a second. Um, but Aaron Donald has the advantages now. And I always tell, hey, defeat the outside hand, whatever. If you're going outside, defeat the outside. If you're going inside, defeat the inside. And D lineman can pull cloth right they can pull jersey they can pull a shoulder pass for offensive lineman that's holding d line has a lot more leniency you know when it when it comes to them grabbing and pulling on things right so what aaron donald is going to do is he's going to get a field he's going to engage he's going to bench press this uh right guard to you know give himself a little bit of room after the bench press you're going to see aaron donald hop skip into the gap right there and then he's gonna pull him down he's gonna uh he's gonna pull a cloth with that left hand right there you can see if y'all just pause right there you can see aaron donald um with that with his left hand on that right shoulder you can see him pulling it down and that's basically clearing that side so yeah we can swipe the right hand we can control it by grabbing the wrist but aaron donald says hey i got hands on you know i got hands on the inside from chest to shoulder i can just pull this down and there's no way 73 can block aaron donald in this position um we pull a claw from the right shoulder and next thing you know kyler murray running for me good job player let's just take a look at this play man and, and, and listen bro let, let's let's not just look at this play let's just cut the music off man we got to watch this in silencio bro aaron donald right here let's just let's just look at it look, look at this look, look that's crazy man that's just that's just, was he holding was he holding was he holding? Cause I, I, I saw a flag. It don't even matter, bro. It don't, man, look. Aaron Donald picked this grown child up, carried him. Like he moved him from point A to point B beyond his free will. Like this right guard went goo goo gaga. He went goo goo gaga up, up. And Aaron Donald said, yes, my child. And he picked him up. And he picked him up and said, all right, you're getting too heavy. I'm going to put you down right here next to Kyler Murray. Then I'm going to go chase Kyler Murray. This young man should be fired for letting. No, nah, he, he shouldn't because Aaron Donald is a damn demigod. But goodness, man. <sighs> all right, bro. Cut the music back up. That's all I got for y'all today, man. Hey, Aaron Donald. Uh, he just keeps, you know, proving, you know, that he's one of the best to ever do it. Honestly, not just in the league, uh, but one of the best to ever do it. He um, is very consistent year in and year out, and he got his money for it. So, shouts out to Aaron Donald for getting his bag. And, you know, he there were rumors that he wanted to retire. He really just wanted to get more money. Um, so, yeah, you know, if you're in the NFC, you got to deal with this dude for another five or six years of his prime, man. Three to four years of his prime. We'll we'll see how long he he's, he's able to keep this up. But as of now, you got to deal with him. So, uh, hey, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you're a Rams fan, hey, I tune in. Uh, I tune into my show uh, Monday through Friday here on the volume uh, at 3 p.m. Central Time. I guess that's like one West Coast time. But, hey, y'all might be a Rams fan in St. Louis or something. So, yeah, 3 p.m. Central Monday through Friday on the volume. And look, man, like, like, let me know who y'all's teams are because I mostly do cowboy content for the volume. Like the volume brought me on uh, to do cowboys content, uh, but I have an NFL acumen also. I like to break down film. I do a lot of draft stuff. Y'all should have seen some of my work that we did in the draft. But you know, we're gonna get y'all used to that. So in the in the uh, comment section, if you're not a Rams fan or if you are a Rams fan, whatever you're a fan of, just let me know what y'all want to see. And um, you know, maybe maybe in the regular season we could do some some film or just some some work, some all 32 work for all 32 teams uh we'll just do that maybe once or twice a week and you know just give y'all more like nfl vibes on the channel as opposed to my you know mostly cowboy talk uh follow me on twitter at vach lombardi v-o-c-h-l-o-n-b-a-r-d-i and that's all i got for y'all today hold it down for the doski wilson peace love you till next time volume